All right, this is uh, grade three, module three, uh, lesson three, <laughs> lots of threes. Uh, and we're basically going to have our students be connecting multiplication and division. Um, and we're going to be using a letter in there to throw in some algebra because it's kind of cool. So the idea would be, um, I love Engage New York in that it combines and mushes together division and multiplication rather than having students spend six weeks on multiplication and then they spend six weeks on division. Instead, they mix them up. That's called interleaving, interleaving. And uh, it's, it's been shown to improve student achievement. So the concept would be, uh, oh, like 5 times 6 equals C, which means um, C divided by 6 equals 5. And that's really about the extent of what we're talking about when we're using a letter to represent the unknown. Now, I chose these two problems because uh, they require... Well, they could use the tape diagram, and so I thought, well, that's, a, that's pretty unfamiliar for a lot of teachers and parents, so let me uh, show you what, uh, how to draw the tape diagrams. So it says, Pedro buys four books at the fair for $7 each. What is the total amount Pedro spends on four books? And of course, we're supposed to use the letter B to represent the total amount. So I'm going to draw the picture. It doesn't necessarily say I have to, but I'm going to. And the picture, the tape diagram, is going to look like this. And I'm going to cut it up into four. So that represents the four books. Each book costs $7. And then the total amount, we're supposed to use the letter B. So the total amount is right here. And I'm going to write the letter B, trying not to make it look like the, the number six. And so uh, we're supposed to write an, an expression. So we're going to write down 4 times 7 equals B. Now, of course, we know the answer is 28, uh, but we're going to write the expression, which, or the equation, 4 times 7 equals B. 4 groups of 7 equals the letter B. So, of course, we know B is equal to 28. So ideally, we ought, we ought to put B equals $28, like that. All right. I'm honestly, I struggle with knowing whether the difference between I should just put 28 or dollars, you know, $28. Uh, it's, there's some nuance that mathematicians kind of argue about, but here you go. That's good enough. So part B, Pedro hands the cashier three $10 bills. How much change will he receive? Write an equation to solve, and we're going to use C to represent our change, our unknown. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a model for this, although some students, most students, would probably be able to do it without it. But I really want to practice drawing those tape diagrams because they're useful. So we know that the uh, total amount is supposed to be $28, but he hands... The cashier, Pedro, hands the cashier $30, and so this difference is going to be our letter C for our change. And so the equ uh, equation that I would write would be 30 minus 28, because this kind of looks like a part-part-whole diagram, equals C. And then C is equal to 2. And, like I said earlier, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do the dollar sign or not, so I'm just going to write them both. And there you go. That's the tape diagram right here and here, and the resulting equation. Uh, the idea, ultimately, down the road is we want students to recognize when they're looking at a tape diagram if it represents multiplication or if the tape diagram represents addition or subtraction. And they're going to see that when you have equal spaces that tends to represent multiplication or division. And when the spaces are not equal, it tends to represent addition and subtraction. Um, and that's kind of the, the hint, the scaffolding, that we want students to eventually be learning as they move into fourth and fifth grade. And our last uh, slide for this video. On field day, the first grade dash is 25 meters long. 
the third grade dash is twice the distance of the first grade dash, how long is the third grade dash? And use a letter to represent it. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tape diagram. It doesn't say we have to, doesn't say we have to draw a picture, but I'm going to. So I'm going to say here's the first grade and here's the third grade. And the first grade looks like this. And then the third grade is twice the distance. So I'm going to try and make two of those. And there's the third grade. And the question is, how long is the third grade dash? Now, we know that this is 25. And we want to know this. And so our expression our equation would be 25 times 2 equals. Now, technically, I wasn't supposed to use that question mark. Really, let's use the letter D to represent dash. So D represents the dash for the third grade. So our equation is 25 times 2 equals D. And then we can solve it. D is equal to 50. And we would say 50 meters. So D is 50 meters long. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 3, where we're mushing together multiplica multiplication and division and uh, throwing in some algebra.